What's going on, my beautiful people out there in the fragrance world? I'm I'm laughing because I've got like so many fragrances on this table. It's ridiculous. It really is ridiculous. So I've got a lot of new fragrances to review for you guys. Um, but I wanted to take the time and address a subscriber's comment. And that subscriber is Zepster77. Um, and it's not only him. I've had several other subscribers, I hope they're subscribers, comment on the same thing. So I figured I'd do a comparison on Mason Alhambra's to, uh, exclusive tobacco versus Mason Alhambra's tobacco. Because for some reason or another, you guys want to know what's the difference, what's going on with them. So I'm here to tell you. So stick around. I'll see you in a second, and we'll talk about it. Thanks, guys. All right, guys. So we are going to talk about Mason Alhambra's Tabak versus Mason Alhambra's exclusive to tabak and like i said you guys want to know what's the difference and blah 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 so i don't think anybody has done this this comparison so maybe i'm the first i don't know but i'm here to tell you what i think so tabak is this one okay it is an eau de parfum you can tell that i really really like this one um this is a clone of dior's tobacco and I've never smelled tobacco, so I'm only going by this. So don't kill me for that, okay? Um, so that's that one. The other one we're comparing it to is Mason Alhambra's Exclusive Tobacco, which is a clone of, uh, hold on, because I forget. Exclusive Tobacco, oh, uh, Carolina Herr's um, Mystery Tobacco. And... I just got this maybe three, four weeks ago. Um, why are bubbles coming out of it? Anyway, so that's that one. Never smelled that one either. Okay, the original. So I can only talk about the sense of these two. But we're here to talk about a comparison between these two anyway. So it doesn't matter, you know, about the originals. Um, they both run about $30 on Triple Traders. So either one. Um, and... What do I think is the difference? So, Mason Alhambra's Tabak has tobacco and honey. That is the main thing. It's also got some peach and some amber. It's a little bit fruity, a little bit tobacco-ish, very, very honey forward. Um, I sprayed exclusive tobacco here, and I spray, sprayed tobacco here. Ask me how I did that. And if you can come up with an idea, really interesting. Um, and so this comes off, tabak comes off as being very honey forward with a slight tobacco scent to it. Uh, you know, the tobacco is there for sure. But, but what you get more is a fruity honey kind of flavor, you know, um, scent in, in, in and of itself. Like, like I said, the tobacco is there. It's it's a smoky, honey, slightly fruity kind of scent. And I love it. Like you can tell, I love it. Um, and I know we talk about maceration, but I remember when I got this, I'm like, eh, it's okay. It's not that strong. It has gotten, honestly, guys, really, it has gotten darker and it has gotten stronger in the three months that I've had it. Like like it's 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 amazing like how how it's changed but it is so good it is beast mode in my and you guys know if you watch my videos nothing is beast mode on me there's very few Assad is beast mode on me um uh latafa's badeal oud uh amethyst is beast mode on me those two are like last forever on me a lot of the other ones, I'm like, eh, I don't smell it that long. You know, I smell it for two hours and then that's it. This one is one of those beast mode ones. This one smells really, really good and lasts a really, really long time. So that's Tabak, okay? 
And then exclusive tabak, okay, is is more of a tobacco fragrance. There's no honey in it. So it's very tobacco forward. We're like, again, tabak has tobacco in it and it's there, definitely there. But I think it's a sweeter, fruitier, honey forward toba tobacco, you know, scent. Whereas this is a very tobacco-ish scent. It's, it's, the tobacco is very, very forward in it. Um, a slightly citrusy, but very, very slight. And it's, it's, a, you know, a little sweet as it starts to dry down. Now, its notes are citrus, ginger, armesia, tobacco, patchouli, vetiver, and tonka bean. Um, it's a, it's a little powdery, but not much. Like what you get is... And I really think what comes out most in this is the tobacco and the patchouli because it's a it's a very earthy tobacco kind of scent, but beautiful as well. Really, really nice. Now I need I've only had this for maybe three weeks, so I need to let it sit and and see what it does. Um, it's really, really nice. Like I said, this is Carolina Herrera's mystery tobacco, um, and I've never smelled that one, but in and of itself, this is a beautiful scent as well. Now, they're not the same, guys. If you buy both of them, you will not be duplicating your your fragrance haul, okay? Because this is a earthier, drier, tobacco kind of scent. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful scent. Really, really nice. Um, where this, is a more sweeter, honey forward, tobacco kind of scent. So should you get both? Yeah, I think you should. If you like those kind of scents, yeah. Because they don't they don't coincide, they don't conflict with each other. You know, they they're they're different. So that is my my take on exclusive tobacco by Mason Alhambra versus tobacco by Mason Alhambra. Are they the same? No. When you should wear them, definitely in the winter and the fall, okay? But again, wear what you want when you want to. If you think you can get away with this in the summer, go ahead. But I think it's a little too heavy for that. Um, and who can wear this? Ladies, tobacco is beautiful. I think that one is really good for the ladies. Exclusive tobacco, I think, leans a little bit more male. Um, but, you know, if you want to pull it off, pull it off. But one versus the other to back i think females would like it as well because of that honey and that sweetness exclusive to back i think it's a little bit more male and when you should wear it definitely dress up definitely in the evenings it's one of those dress up evening kind of scents that's i think is just oh, beautiful they're both Uda perfumes they're they're both really really nice scents now longevity i will tell you this to back to me lasts a lot longer on my skin than exclusive to back. But again, that could be because I've let it sit for a long time. It's macerated a bit more. Um, and so maybe it's a little stronger right now and exclusive to back, you know, three, four months from now will be the same. Don't know. But as far as like longevity is concerned, to back definitely lasts a lot longer than exclusive to back for now on my skin. So keep that in mind. So guys, I hope you like this video. I really do. And you know, Zepster77, I hope that you, uh, this answered your question. So guys, if you have a comment, I tried, I really do try to comment, but sometimes I fail and I don't comment for like two weeks, but I, I try to answer everybody. Um, but if you do have a question, feel free to ask. If I can get to it, I will get to it. And, uh, you know, share, tell your friends about it. I try to be as honest as I can. And as always, guys, be safe, be love, and I will talk to you later. Thanks, guys. Bye.